Welcome to Lanyap, a program about events, issues, and people. I'm Corey Crow. I'm joined today by Tom Faber. He's the public relations coordinator for the Dixie Center for the Arts in Ruston. Tom, thanks for being with us today on Lanyap. Good morning, Corey. Always a pleasure to be here. Well, it's uh, good to see you today, and you always have top-notch musicians performing at the Dixie. Man, we're trying hard to bring only top-notch entertainment to the Dixie. Tell me a little bit about what's going to be coming up at the the Dixie Center for the Arts. What do you guys have here in the next couple of weeks? Wow, so October is insane at the Dixie. Uh, One of the biggest shows we've done is coming up on the 21st. Uh, Louisiana legend Tab Benoit is going to be in-house. Now, how did you pull that off? That is a a big deal to get Tab Benoit in North Louisiana. Well, it's not that hard. Um, You just got to have timing and everything's got to work out. Planets aligned and Tab was willing. So it's awesome. So uh, when is Tab Benoit appearing in Ruston? On Saturday the 21st. So just around the corner uh, for folks and um, you see Tab Benoit like playing all over the world. And you guys have him here in North Louisiana. You know, he's won the B.B. King Entertainer of the Year Award twice now. Um, so, you know, that that's big for any blues fan. So I yeah. think I think that is uh, one of your, your best uh, concerts you've had in a long time uh, to be able to pull that one off. I, I agree with you. Um, when I first started to work at the Dixie, I was asking, you know, what kind of entertainment would you like? And the first thing I said was Tab Benoit. We need Tab Benoit. And we just didn't think it could happen, but here we are. You just have to show him the money, right? That's right. And opening for Tab is another Louisiana blues man, Eric Johansson. Uh, He's up and coming. If you're not familiar with him, you should check him out. Both uh, those artists uh, were playing on uh, KEDM on the boot and uh, big fans of both of those uh, guys. And uh, the the hits just keep coming at the Dixie Theater. You you follow that one with another quick concert right after it. So the very next day, the very next afternoon, we're doing a matinee concert um, with Dozat St. Marie. Uh, Matt Dozat, who is a Ruston native, and his wife, Heather St. Marie, is a Louisiana native. So they met at Louisiana Tech, started singing together. And they're touring the world right now. And, and and not yeah, not just a little Rustin band. These guys I know uh were on tour with Rick Springfield over the summer. You say they've been in Europe? They just got back from Europe touring with Seal. Um you can see a lot of videos with Seal uh doing his uh Kiss by a Rose song and there's Matt playing the guitar and you know, beautiful harmonies. They're so tight. Well, that's uh, that's going to be fun, and that's uh, I guess sort of like coming home for them. Uh, it is being back in the Ruston area. It is. We call them. We all, this is the second time they've been at the Dixie, and we call them their homecoming shows. So um, Tab Benoit on Saturday the twenty first, and then you turn around on Sunday and do a Sunday matinee with Dozot Saint Marie. That's right. That's going to be a big big week of big-time music in North Louisiana. Yep, no rest for the weary. Well, you did them back-to-back, though. You can just, you know, you you finish the show, go lay on the couch, sleep a couple hours, get up and do yeah, another we show. Do, we do have a couch in the green room, so, yeah, I may hang out that night. It, it might be <laughs> a lot of fun. Now, um, that's not all, because um, in addition to being a, one of the top music venues in uh, North Louisiana. By the way, congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. Uh, on the Northeast Louisiana Music Awards, uh, you guys are nominated for one of the top venues. We are, and, I'm, and, and one of the four finalists, so we're excited about that. So in addition to being a music venue, you guys are also turning it uh, back into a movie theater, which the Dixie uh, Theater was for a long time. That's what it was built for, silent movies and vaudeville acts and uh We've got this big movie screen, and we decided, hey, you know what? Let's use it. So um, the question is, is it a Christmas movie or is it a Halloween movie? Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. I I think it just depends on when you show it. So we're showing it on October 29th, I believe. October 29th, and uh, that's going to be... That's a Friday night, yeah. At the Dixie. And then you follow that... 
uh, oh, October 27th. 27th. And then the 29th, you follow with uh, the, the music group Exile. That's right. Real quick, one thing about the Nightmare Before Christmas. We have partnered with uh, Act Up Drama Club in Ruston, and they will be there in costume characters from the movie for photo ops, and we encourage everybody to come dressed in your favorite costume. And then that Sunday, you're right, the 29th is Exile. Now tell folks why uh, they would know the band Exile. Oh, why wouldn't you? If you, if you were alive in the 70s and 80s, is Exile is actually the first crossover band that I remember. I could hear them on the rock station. I could turn on a country station, and they'd be on there as well. So hundred over 100 times on the Grand Ole Opry, countless top 10 hits. This band has been together for 60 years. That's a long time. It is. And uh, the Princess and the Frog coming up. Uh, and then you finish out uh, sort of the, uh, the uh, holiday season. Travis LaDoit. Uh, Sun and Stars Christmas Show, and then John Con uh, Ford Conley. John Ford Coley. Uh, yeah, if you were, I, I knew I was going to do that. He's not <laughs> on the backside of thirty. He is or not forty or whatever that yeah. song was. He uh, he was a seventies uh, soft rock legend. Uh, folks might remember Dan England, Dan and John Ford Coley. They had several top ten hits, and uh, they sang all that light rock seventy uh, stuff. Yeah, you know. Just... But then they toured with Led Zeppelin. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, and uh, you've got a lot coming up at uh, Christmas. One other one before, uh, cr right after Christmas. Tell everybody what you so got coming it's, up. It's home for the holidays, and um, your Boots folks are going to recognize these names. Three of them on the stage at the same time. We've got Marsha Ball, Carolyn Wonderland, and Shelly King. That's Texas music royalty that right there. That is nothing but Texas music royalty and blues guitar legends that is uh, all coming up also mike dawes um twitty and lynn coming back take three matt anderson and the movie black angels over tuskegee it is, it is not a movie it is oh, a, the, it the is play. a play yes black angels over tuskegee uh going on at the dixie tom for folks to uh, get tickets to the event saturday october 21st tab benoit and then sunday dozat saint marie head over to our website at DixieCenter.org. You can find out more about this and other events by visiting our website at KEDM.org.